All right, what is shaking, homies? So today I'm going to show you another YouTube help tutorial. That is something that's been happening to me a lot lately. Now, I do daily videos, and at least once a week, I'll have a video that I'll be uploading it. I'll set my computer to upload. I'll go away. I'll come back, and it'll be frozen. It'll be stuck at like 10% or 25%. Sometimes it'll even get to like 95% processing and freeze. Now, this doesn't happen, you know, that much, but it is something that happens enough where you're going to, if you're an up, a YouTuber and you upload a lot, you're going to need to know what to do if this happens to you. Okay, so right now on my computer here, I have an upload, just a test upload. This is just a random, random test clip. Um, I have this uploading, and for the sake of video, you're going to pretend this froze. Okay, I'm going to show you two ways that you can fix it if it freezes. One way works 90% of the time, and very simple. And then the other way works basically all the time. The only thing is you'll lose your description and stuff if you already wrote that out. So one thing I recommend doing, no matter what, is I recommend when you upload your video, upload it to private, obviously, but don't do your description and stuff towards the end of your upload when everything's going smooth, because if you have to, you might lose your description. You'll have to retype that and everything, which is no fun. But okay, so you see my video right now. It's at 14%. It's uploading fine, but for sake of the video, we're going to pretend like it, it, it froze right here. So first thing I would do if it froze, this is really simple, you're going to open a, serp, a separate tab. You're going to go into your YouTube and you're just going to open your video manager. So really simple, just go to your creator studio, you know, just click your little avatar, creator studio. And from there, you got your video manager. Okay, now once you open your video manager, your video should actually start uploading through your video manager, you see here. It actually calculates it and everything through your video manager. So nine times out of ten, if you just open up your video manager in a separate tab, this part will start rolling and everything will go fine. Okay, but there is sometimes that does not work. Okay, it's it's kind of rare, but on a, it's happened to me a couple times in the recent, you know, recent past. So you know, I thought I'd share it with you guys. But okay, so one thing you can do this, you want to do this your second option because if you already filled out your description and your title you'll lose all that okay so what you want to do is you're just gonna hit here where it says cancel upload I know it sounds scary like you're gonna lose everything you've already done but you won't that's okay so we're gonna hit cancel upload it says upload was canceled okay so that sucks you know whatever but then we're gonna hit here to the upload button again okay and now we're gonna put the exact same file now it's very important this file that you're dragging over, since the first time you're uploading it, you did not change the name of it or anything. Uh, if you did change it back to exactly what it was, we were uploading the one that says test. That was the name of the file. So we're putting that one right here. Now watch. See upload pending. And then look right here. 24%. It started back where it left off. So, you know, obviously that time you weren't at your computer when it was frozen, that's all lost time where you could have been uploading. But other than that, you can start up right where you left off. Like I said before, though, this option, if you say I would have, you know, had a bunch of stuff in the description when I went to redo it, all this would have been gone, okay? So I like to wait till my video is, you know, only got a little bit of time left uploading to start writing down my description, you know? Otherwise, make sure to copy, you know, highlight everything in your description, copy it, and then in case you have to go back and you lose it, you can just paste it right back because it can be a pain. You know, writing a long description for a video, you're putting a lot of time and effort into it and just losing everything. But with these two options, they should, you know, you should be able to get all your videos uploaded, no problem. Now, this is, uh, I don't know what's going on there. This is the only issues I've ever came across uploading, and, you know, they fixed it every time. So I hope this video helped you guys. Um, we'll be back to our normal, regular, regularly scheduled program tomorrow. Yeah, and I guess until next time, uh, just... Rocking in the free world or whatever, whatever the hell you do. See you later.